Welcome back. We have more award winners here. We have Kristen and Candace and Nicholas. Nicholas. You told me I was so going to do it. Was you so told close. me. Uh, we sat here and it was like, I mean, it sounded like a song. And then he mentioned that they were from Bitter Jester and a company that you're from? Cristo Ray St. Martin. Right. So when he did that, all of a sudden my brain just started spinning. But the three of you collaborated on a project. Tell me about the project. So we did a short piece called A Day in the Life of a Cristo Ray Student. Um, Cristo Ray St. Martin is one of the college prep schools in Waukegan that's in the Cristo Ray network. And they, what they do is uh, they help low-income families get their kids to and through college. So they have an extremely high graduation rate. And one of the things that makes the school particularly unique is that each of the students, in addition to going to classes and having a full course load, one day a week they all go to work at a Fortune 500 company in the area. And, and they, uh, they, the income that they make from their job goes in part to pay for their tuition. So it's a really fantastic model. And this project, uh, we, we basically shadowed two students Sam and Kayla. Sam went to school, or sorry, Sam went to work and Kayla went to school and it was intercutting their day back and forth to show kind of just like a really dynamic, extremely busy day for these extremely professional young people. What an amazing story to tell. So now you collaborate, how do you wind up collaborating on something like this together? I'll, I'll let you kind of speak to that, Candace. Well, I guess because we work at the school, we can coordinate the interviews with the students, we can coordinate the interviews not only at school but also where they work, you know, and set that up and that's that's pretty necessary and also because we work at the school, we have in-depth knowledge about it so we can be of some assistance with editing and this is, imp this is an important point that we want to make sure comes across in the film. But, but the other thing is, is you're dealing with children, uh, minors, and you're dealing with a school. So, you know, when you when you do any production that has to do with that, there are certain permissions, there are difficulties, there's a lot of red tape. So what was that like to deal with? You know, the, the parents were extremely generous, I think, with um, allowing us to take a view into these young people's lives. Um, it's, it's incredible to be able to tell the story of these two young people. They're representative of, of all the students in the school and that they work so incredibly hard. They're getting up, you know, 5, 6 a.m. in the morning and working clear through midnight, um, day in and day out. And, and the parents let us into their homes um, to show us what life is like there. Um, they were really very generous about that, but I think they did all of that. Um, and the students were willing to do it because they believe in the school and they believe in the opportunities that are being afforded to them. And you've been here before. You've won a number of awards before because every year Bitter Jester seems to be part of the award ceremony uh, in, in one aspect or another. So uh, what does it mean to have this one? I mean, you have, you've had others in the past, but what, what does this one uh, represent? So, you know, we, this year we had six nominations for five different projects. We won for two of them. It's always disappointing to lose for a project. It's especially disappointing for our clients because for them, they don't get to come back often, you know? Um, but winning is, is honestly, I think winning is good for everybody. And this, this type of an award is great for the school. It's good for us for a, from a press and you know, PR standpoint. It's just a lot of fun to be here. But as I said in my speech, the, the thing that's really important to me is this felt like a really special project from day one. Um, we actually we treated it like it was a film production in that we interviewed, we auditioned basically about a dozen different students. We sat them all down and did a pre-interview and picking these two kids was one of the hardest things to do because they're all qualified. I mean in very different ways but you know it comes down to demographics and casting and who's good on camera and who's you know what where their jobs are so it's a giant puzzle but at the end of the day everything fell into place and I very occasionally you get to work on a project where as it's being created you can tell that it's going to be a good one and this was definitely one of those projects hands down so in a way i'm not surprised but i'm also surprised i mean we were up against some really tough competition yeah. and i you know i was you never know, yeah you. you don't and so i mean this is just it's it's thrilling and one uh thing I wanted to add too is I forgot to thank our fellow nominees and I should have done that because the other projects are fantastic so I wanted to thank our fellow nominees so there, there you go. Nicholas all right yes. thank you thank, thank you. you so much thank for you. being with us tonight and congratulations gotta wait he'll give us the wrap we're gonna wrap you for just a second we'll be right back